In this lecture, we introduce the revenue function. The underlying concept we need is a demand function where the quantity Q is a function of the price P. Q will depend on other variables as well, but we keep these constant. The demand function could be from a single individual or it could be an aggregate demand function. We know that we are free to express the relationship between price and quantity either as a demand function where Q depends on P or as an inverse demand function where P depends on Q. We define revenue as price times quantity. If a consumer or a bunch of consumers buy a quantity Q of a good, each unit at the price P, then the total revenue to the supplier or suppliers is P times Q. Of course, this revenue is also the total expenditure. If we do quantity from the demand function, which is a function of P, and multiply that by P, we get a function called the revenue function as a function of P. This function will express the revenue as a function of price only, which we can do since quantity is determined from price. We can also express revenue as a function of quantity only by multiplying the inverse demand function P of Q by Q. As long as P and Q are related through the demand function, these functions will return the same value. The revenue function is for obvious reasons also called the expenditure function. The same idea viewed from the perspective of the consumers. We can illustrate the revenue function as a rectangle in a diagram. Here is the demand curve. I pick an arbitrary point on the demand curve associated with this price and this quantity. Since revenue is the product of P and Q, revenue is equal to the area of this rectangle. And we can view this area either as a function of P or as a function of Q. Let's look at a couple of examples of revenue functions. The first one is the simplest. Demand is a power function, some constant C divided by P, where C is strictly positive. The inverse demand function is P equal to C over Q, or C times Q raised to minus 1, if you prefer. To get the revenue function as a function of price, we multiply the demand function C over P with P. The P's will cancel and we're left with the constant C. If our demand function is 9 over P, revenue will be equal to 9 for all values of P. To get the revenue function as a function of Q, we start with the inverse demand function, P equal to C over Q, which we multiply by Q. The result is the same. Revenue is equal to the fixed constant C. We have to avoid the simplistic thinking that firms can increase revenue by simply increasing the price. An increase in price will lead to a decrease in demand and an uncertain effect on revenue. Here is another example, the revenue function when demand is a linear function. Let's do a specific linear function before generalizing this to an arbitrary linear function. Say that demand is given by Q equal to 20 minus 2P, where P is between 0 and 10. The inverse demand function P is equal to 10 minus Q over 2, where Q is between 0 and 20. To get the revenue function as a function of P, we do 20 minus 2P and multiply that by P. R of P is 20P minus 2P squared. If we multiply the inverse demand function with Q, we get the revenue function as a function of Q, 10Q minus Q squared over 2. Here is a graph with Q on the x-axis, the red line is the linear demand curve, a graph of the inverse demand function P equal to 10 minus Q over 2. If I want to draw revenue in this graph, I must use R as a function of Q, since my x-axis is Q. The blue curve is a graph of the function 10Q minus Q square over 2. Revenue is 0 when Q is equal to 0 and when Q is equal to 20. Revenue is maximized at Q equal to 10, half of the maximum quantity. This is no coincidence for a linear demand function. Revenue will always be maximized at the middle of the demand curve, as we will demonstrate later. Let's find the revenue function for a general linear demand function. Q is A minus B times P, where A and B are strictly positive, arbitrary constants, and P must be between 0 and A over B. The inverse demand function is P equal to A over B minus Q over B. 
revenue as a function of p is a minus bp times p or ap minus bp squared. Revenue as a function of q is a over b minus q over b multiplied by q or a times q over b minus q squared over b.